How's it going everyone? Got quite a lot to talk about in this video. We've got two new games that are free available on the PlayStation Store for PS5. We'll talk about that. But first of all, I do want to talk a major free trial that is available for everyone until April the 1st. Definitely something to take advantage of as Cyberpunk 2077 is available to try for free. Now, this is the trial that has been available on PlayStation Plus Premium. At least I believe it is. It notes five hours of playtime, which is exactly what was on PlayStation Plus Premium. Available for free. No subscriptions required. Available on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S. So definitely a great time to try out Cyberpunk 2077 as the game is discounted as well. Let me just make sure that is the case yesterday when I record my uh when I recorded the spring sale video a lot of the deals weren't updated but cyberpunk was listed I would imagine that it's down to $29.99 it is in fact not on sale so I lied to you guys the ultimate edition is however on sale it is 25% off for $53.24 my apologies on that but the ultimate edition is discounted and essentially if you look at the ultimate edition and you value cyberpunk 2077 at 30 bucks you're essentially getting phantom liberty for $23.25 which is actually a pretty good price phantom liberty is typically 30 bucks um You've waited this long for Cyberpunk 2077. The Ultimate Edition is now getting discounted. Is it going to kill you if you wait another, you know, 8 to 12 months and then you wait for that Ultimate Edition to get cheaper and cheaper? You know, $35, $30 even. Like, once that Ultimate Edition is down to, like, 30 bucks, oh, baby, we're recommending that game ad nauseum. I mean, I already recommend Cyberpunk 2077 quite a lot, and I was one of the people that uh, didn't hate the game as much as everyone else when it initially came out. Now, obviously, was the game a colossal disappointment? Absolutely, but I think it was a lot of expectation management. And I get it, CDPR had promoted the game in a way that, yo, they promised a lot of things and they did not deliver on their promises, and it very much came across like an early access game. And the PS4 and Xbox One version, don't get me started on those literal abominations as far as that's concerned. But even at launch, I thought, you know, fundamentally, I was like, okay, there's some good things about the game. And I had one of my boys that always has the crazy hyperbolic takes. I remember uh, just texting me nonstop about being like, this was the game you were excited for. This is the worst game of all time and so on and so forth. He just knew I was a big CDPR fan because of The Witcher. But even leading up to the release of Cyberpunk, I and many other content creators were talking about how many red flags there were about this game's release with all the delays, with the downgrade that happened. Um, but nonetheless, now with Cyberpunk 2077 2.0, with Phantom Liberty out, it is a far, far superior game, and it's a game worthwhile for you to check out in five hours at the end of the day. That's not going to give you a lot of Cyberpunk 2077, but it could get, uh, you know, a little bit into the game, and you could experience a little bit of the game and then ultimately decide whether or not you want to buy the game. Unfortunately, again, the base game currently is not discounted. Do not be spending $50 on it. You can go to Amazon, and I believe they have Cyberpunk 2077 for $18 as I look this up right now as well, and if I'm wrong again, that would be quite embarrassing. But, uh, yes, I am correct. Uh, the PlayStation 4 version of Cyberpunk 2077 on Amazon right now is $18.97 and that gets you a free upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version. The Ultimate Edition, I totally forgot that they released physical copies of this as well, is available for $60. Again, don't be spending $60 on that. I mean, you could get it cheaper, but that's something that the Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition come Black Friday this year, holiday sale this year, could easily see that getting down to like $30 and man, I feel like when the Black Friday ads drop and Cyberpunk 2077 Ultimate Edition is listed at $30, bucks. I think people are going to get pretty excited about that, and I think a lot of people are going to pick up the game at that point. I really see Cyberpunk over time becoming one of those games that just picks up in sales and does very, very well. I mean, it already kind of has, but the game is also held up at a fairly high price point after 2.0 came out, after Phantom Liberty dropped. So once this Ultimate Edition gets down to like 30 bucks, I think a lot of people are going to check it out. But nonetheless, five-hour free trial available right now. Certainly go check that out if you're interested. No PlayStation Plus required. Moving on from that, I do want to highlight two free titles that are available for PlayStation 5 right now, and these are free forever. We have DC Universe Online, the long-running MMORPG and it is still kicking which I find absolutely shocking given that yo back in the PlayStation 3 days I remember when DC Universe Online was coming out and it was a big deal like a big MMO like this 
dropping on PlayStation 3 at the time. Like, think about that. 2011, I believe it was. That was a pretty new thing for the PlayStation 3. I get it that, you know, Final Fantasy 11 had been around, but DC Universe was a pretty notable release. And the fact that it's still ongoing to this day... Uh, almost 15 years later, that's pretty insane. DC Universe Online is a free-to-play massive multiplayer online action game set in the popular DC Universe, become one of a new breed of heroes or villains, and wield incredible powers as you go to war with legendary characters such as Batman, Superman, Lex Luthor, and the Joker, so some iconic characters there. On top of that, with the PlayStation 5 version, the native version of DC Universe Online on PS5 can better take advantage of the system's hardware for stronger performance, smoother frame rates, faster load times, and natively runs at 4K. The game itself is obviously identical to the PS4 version. You'll also be able to transfer all your progress back and forth between the two games. And on top of that, the PS5 version does have its own trophy list, so if you want to take advantage of some trophies, go for it. I'm not a big DC guy, uh, like, I like Batman. Uh, that's probably my uh, DC superhero of choice. Although, you know, I like some of the other characters, but I'm not a big superhero guy in general. But I remember when DC Universe Online was coming out, and at that point, you know, having all of these iconic characters in an MMORPG available on PlayStation 3, it was a pretty big deal back then. And I was probably, like, 13, 14 years old when it was coming out, but I was still terminally online back then. Um, and, yeah, it was a game that a lot of people were talking about in, like, podcasts. Yeah, 2010, 2011 era podcast I remember I was listening to. And a lot of people were hyping it up and the fact that it's still running all these years later uh pretty remarkable as far as that's concerned i mean we see so many mmos so many live service games come and go these days that one that's persisted this long no matter how strong the community is the fact that it's persisted this long that's pretty remarkable no matter how you slice it uh so pretty impressive stuff there and again available on playstation 5 now and then lastly predecessor has officially dropped on playstation 5 as well that's been on early access on pc for a little while become paragon play your way with more than 30 heroes to choose from each with unique and devastating abilities such as shooting through walls turning invisible and raining down rockets from above there's more then one way to take down your opponents, hit your lane and push the enemy objective, taking down towers as you battle to destroy their core, all while protecting your own predecessor plays like a traditional three-lane MOBA, but with genre-redefining elements such as an immersive third-person perspective, high-quality graphics, and game-changing map verticality. Squad up and dominate the battlefield. You're not alone in the fight. Team up with up to four allies and lay waste to your opponents by working together to secure objectives, control your lane, and engage in epic team fights. Earn gold and experience to buy items to truly customize your playstyle, level up your abilities, and deliver devastating ultimate skill up and show off whether you're a grizzled veteran or a MOBA newcomer predecessor gives you the tools to succeed. If you're new to MOBAs, take on the roles that feel familiar, such as support or jungler, or pick heroes that let you focus on your favorite playstyle as well. It's a MOBA with a pretty impressive visuals as well, not something that uh, MOBAs are generally known for, but Predecessor, all things considered, looks pretty good on that department as well. We'll see the longevity of this game, as it has had a community on PC, but now available on more platforms, hopefully, uh, that will entice more people to check out. And a fully free, it is in its beta period, so keep that in mind as well. But that's going to do it for me again, Cyberpunk. 2077 five hour free trial available right now until april the first and some major free titles dc universe online now available on ps5 and predecessor now available on ps5 those two are both free and they're free to play titles so check them out if you're interested that's gonna do it for me let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below sound off there thank you for watching and goodbye Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.